Chris. <laughs> A-Hole Productions. You just weren't meant to be a full-time Resident Evil character. Well, we go from one battle to the next? Oh, crap. Man, if we die here, then do we gotta redo it all? Come with me. The laughing between both characters gets irritating. And now the only existing sample is in your body. I want it. Now. You want it? You are not worthy of its power! <laughs> oh, she's got the third necklace. I just... I, or the third gem. I just noticed that. She's wearing Veronica's necklace. Here we go. These PS2 cutscenes looking sharp. I remember I had the toy of her. Oh, her necklace fell off. I had the toy of her that looked like this, um, from Palisade Toys, I think, made it, and that thing never stood. Like, it came with a base, thank goodness, so you could have her stand on the base, but her leg would always bend and she would always fall over. It was really irritating. The Wesker figure, though, is by far the coolest, one of the coolest toys ever. You could switch out his head with sunglasses and, and his yellow eyes. See, I like this because they're like, they escalated it. It's like, alright, he has superpowers and he's been kicking the crap out of Chris and Claire, Throughout You're the game, coming with me. but now he's like outmatched. Look at that! He's on fire, though. Oh, that's such a cool scene. I always wanted Veronica to be in one of the movies. She seems like a great action villain. Like, and that the, the movie franchise kind of went in an action direction. Um, Wesker. They gave some of her powers to Alice, which I was like, no, you need her to be the bad guy, um, so that Wesker can fight her with his superhuman abilities. Chris, since you're one of my best men, I'll let you handle this. Oh, 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 what's up, Unseen? I'm gonna go make some food. Uh, good luck with Alexia. Hey, thank you. Uh, she can kill us in one, so I'm gonna try to... How? she down? Yes! Oh, good. She's down. Okay. Whew. Man. Second time's a charm, I guess. Oh, before I go, I had to restart from way back because all Chris had was a knife when I played facepalm. Oh, that's right! Uh, I'll be honest with you, my first time through this, I, I had to redo some of this. I, I didn't have to go all the way back. Luckily, I had a save from, like, you know, like 20 minutes before... Like, I, I did two separate saves, luckily. Um, I think. I, I can't remember my if it was my first or... I, it must have been my first time. Not the... not the. I'm not talking about the... the, the uh, Yeah, it was. It was the Japanese import version. So, yeah. I, I had to... I had to do the same thing. Um, but I only had to go back, like, 20 minutes, luckily. Um, Alright. So, what I like about this idea of this painting... And it's like putting the three jewels in here. This is actually something that they kind of put in the remake. Uh, they At the top of the stairs, in the original Resident Evil, there was just like a, a stained glass window that looked out into a little garden. In the remake, you could actually... There was a door uh, that was kind of disguised in as, as the wall art, and you could actually walk out into the garden. So that, that, was, that was pretty cool. Claire? Is that you, Claire? Chris? Oh, man. No. Oh, yeah, the door's locked. No, no. Hey, is Steve with you? <laughs> I like that he's still wearing his RPD Stars outfit. Because <laughs> you 
because you imagine like you can imagine there's a story element there you could be like oh why is chris still dressed in his rpd stars have to get out of here immediately. and it's like well the guy left in a hurry from raccoon city he took the only gear he had access to so he probably just grabbed his gloves and his his vest and his gun Um, and so, to, I don't know, to me, it, it's kind of self-explanatory. If you activate it, all the electronic locks might be deactivated. <laughs> all right. You know what? Does this have a, a code on it? Nope, just emergency. Cool. Alright. Let's boot scoot boogie. Oh, right. I'm gonna use this. And I was like, wait, why isn't the key card working? Alright, that gives us one extra inventory slot, and then when we're done with this key card, I think that'll give us a second. And I think there's an herb in here. Yeah, there's an herb right over here. It's completely optional to get it, but we're gonna do it. It only costs us two shotgun blasts. That's fine. I'm gonna need all the herbage I can get when we fight the boss. Because Alexia is gonna come for us now. She's she's pissed. Her soldier and Steve turned against her. Um, oh, I like this zombie. You're kind of like, what's his deal? Security code. What? Everything around here is Veronica. Yes! Alright, phew. Thankfully that wasn't too hard. But I always lo I love that zombie down there. I think you can kill him. Uh, but, it's, I mean, not that it's easy, but I think you can, like, when he gets closer, you could probably shoot, like, a grenade round or two at him. But I just think it's funny that he's just there. Like, he's just like this zombie. It's on a different level than you, and you, you can't get to him, and he can't get to you. It's, uh, I don't know, it's funny to me. <laughs> Alright. Enough laughing, though. We got some real fighting to do. And we have a lot of backtracking to do if we die. Of course. Come on. Let's get out of here. Oh. So that giant worm is like housing her, especially in her new form. Ah! And you can see that worm's coming from the hive, which is down below. Yeah, this is where the Resident Evil villains really went off the rails. Like, after this, they were like, well, if we're making Resident Evil 4, we gotta, like, up the ante. Like, Veronica was. She was like a giant worm, and she could, like, light things on fire with her mind and spill her blood everywhere, and, you know, it's like. She really upped the ante. But to me, she's perfect trilogy at escalation. Like, if you're playing Resident Evil 1, it's the Tyrant. Resident Evil 2, it's the G-Virus monster. And then, yeah, you have this thing. Um, and then you have Nemesis also. But he, to me, he felt like a little bit of a step back, uh, which I liked. I liked that about him. He was more of, like, a super tyrant. Um, all right, here we go. Keep her busy. Just go for the emergency elevator. Chris, but I can take care of this. Just go. And see, to me, if you were doing a movie and you let like you let like Steve or someone me. live, this is the moment where you're like, Claire, there's only two seats in the in the plane. Get Steve out of here, you know. Oh, we gotta. Oh shoot. We gotta. There we go. I was gonna say we need to switch guns because the shotgun's not gonna stop stop her from this distance. Good luck. Thank you, Unseen. I'm gonna need it. 
<laughs> oh, she's transforming. After Resident Evil 2, all the bosses needed multiple forms. So this part sucks. Because then there's like these little creatures that come out and they throw off your auto. Alright. So we got all of our... Heal, heal, heal. Get out of there, Chris. Damn. Get up, heal, 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 heal. Wow. Yeah, those little effers are no joke. Oh, good, we made it. <laughs> but this is still, like, not easy. We still got a fighter in another form, and it's, uh, we have no help now. <laughs> I like that, though. Her wings are flapping, so she's summoning all of her creatures, which, you know, for us sucks, but... Yeah. Here we go! A part of me always kind of wish Claire got, like, involved in this final battle. Um, but uh, we do get we do um, get a little bit of Claire um, towards the end, but she's not really part of this battle, unfortunately. Run, Chris! Oof. Damn it. Have to kind of predict where she's gonna go. Oh, we did it! Whoo! I honestly thought we missed that second time. Alright, now let's sit back and enjoy the ending, because it's a long one. Because it's Code Rock X, I added like a couple extra minutes into the, uh, the gameplay. So, so normally it would just end right here, it wouldn't have this. In the first version of this game, Chris ran around the corner and got in the elevator and went and met Claire, and it was like instantly over, and you never found, you're like, what happened to Wesker? So I think a lot of fans had that reaction. So Capcom was like, "All right, we're gonna we're gonna full on, uh, you know, give you guys more more Wesker." Good job, thank you very much, Unseen. I appreciate it, dude. Thanks for hanging out with me tonight. Chris. <sighs> well done, Chris. It turns out that Alexia's work wasn't much of anything. So now, the only thing left is revenge. Let her go, Wesker! You don't want her. Fine. Claire! The building's still gonna blow up in a few minutes. Today's a good day. I came for Alexia, but killing you is even better. Sorry to disappoint you, but Alexia is gone. That's no longer a concern to me. I have Steve to work with. What? Steve. In his body, there's still a living T. Alexia virus. Steve should be a good specimen. Maybe he'll come back alive, just as I did, and be able to see your sister again. You freak! Don't you touch him! I'm sorry, dear heart. But my men have already taken him. 
Oh man. You get out of your play. But what about? As a surviving member of Stars, I have to finish. See, that's why I kind of wish like Claire had more of a Remember an eye in the uh, or more of a um like more of a hand in the final battle with Alexia because she gets like benched both times. He's like, all right, Claire, I got this. And then he fights Alexia. Then he goes, okay, Claire, I got this. And then he fights Wesker. So, um, to me, I wish she would have like she would have been the one to fight Alexia. And then you have Chris battle Wesker here. But I mean, it's a cutscene, so it's like you don't really get to fight Wesker. And it's not like an interactive cutscene either. We just get to sit back and watch. Hey, PJ Jones, I gotta call you PJ Jones, right? It's been a while, dude. How you been? Welcome back to the stream, dude. We were here right for the ending of Code Veronica X. Where Chris Redfield gets his butt kicked. That's right. I'm well. How you been? Hey, man. I'm hanging in there, dude. And this is our first and possibly last stream for the through the PS4 for now. Um, so I'm glad you guys were here for it. Uh, I think my PS4 online... I, I don't know if I need that like PS it's not PS now but it's like PS plus or whatever I don't know if I need that to be online with the PlayStation or not maybe one of you guys can tell me if not then cool we'll, we'll stream something else in like a week or two um, but uh, yeah I got this for my birthday gift and I got a 14 day trial and it expires tonight so that's why we were trying to beat this tonight um, before that expires because I don't know if it'll let me stream through Twitch anymore after this until I you know pay for that service again I'm just stopping in for a second, and I need to head to bed. Hey, no problem. Well, we're at the end sure here anyway, so we're anymore. all going to be heading to bed soon. But just look at the power hey, man, how long have you been streaming tonight? I hope you still have some ways to go. I do not. What's up? I can't take him. I'm sorry, dude. You're actually... We've been streaming for an hour and ten minutes, and we're at the end now. Uh, so I'm sorry, dude. But don't worry. When the stream ends, I'll hang out and talk with you guys for a bit. Like when we're done with the game. Come on, Chris. Don't you? Boom! Ooh! Superpowers and not, you know that hurt. <laughs> Tell Johnny I said hello next time you see her. I will, PJ, for sure. I'm surprised she's not here tonight. Uh, but thank you all for coming in. I really do appreciate it. And Unseen, thank you for the host, man. I, that I also appreciate. Dang, dude. Guy's like the Terminator. <laughs> Chris is like, shit. It's been three minutes, man. Like, this, the place had to have exploded by now. All right, Zeke, glad to see you. Glad you're doing well. Have a good night. I'll stop back soon. All right, dude, have a good one, PJ. Thanks for coming by. Today's your lucky day. Next time we meet, don't count on another. Next time. Until we meet again. Why would you let him go? Like, just shoot him. Shoot him in the face through the fire. Because that was the disappointing part, was when they were like, oh, we're going to add extra Wesker stuff, but they had already planned to make Resident Evil um, 4 at this point. Uh, but I think they had already had plans for Wesker. Like, I think they knew eventually they would have more stuff with Wesker. And I think even orig originally Resident Evil 4 was supposed to be a game where you played as Wesker. Um... I mean, I know there was a talks of it. I, that game ended up becoming Devil May Cry, I believe. Um, but, uh, yeah. It's, uh, I don't know. It's, it's, it's an ending where they're like, oh, we gotta add more, but we can't really have a conclusion because we have plans for these characters. Uh, so again, like I said, if you were adapting these and making a movie out of them, I think Resident Evil works good as a trilogy, and you make Resident Evil 1 the movie, and then Resident Evil 2, the movie, and maybe put Jill, add Jill to it, and add hey, Nemesis. You know, um, if it's not adding too much, you know, um, try to pace it the best you can. And then the third movie is 
this storyline, like a version of this storyline. And then you just end it. You have Wesker die, and then you have Chris kill Wesker. Chris, promise me. Please promise that you won't leave me alone again. I'm sorry, Claire, but it's not over yet. There's still something we've got to do. You mean... Yeah, it's payback time. We've got to destroy Umbrella. Now, let's finish this once and for all. And... Boom! <laughs> And you're like, yes, destroy Umbrella. And then what happens in the next game? In the first ten seconds of the second or the fourth game, they go, oh, Umbrella's stock prices crashed, and they went out of business. And you're like, what? Like, it did. It didn't end with Chris and Claire and Leon and Jill all teaming up and blowing up like a like the headquarters of Umbrella and killing Oswell E. Spencer. Like, it, it felt so anticlimactic. I mean, people love 4, but my issue with it is I would have loved 4 more if it was Resident Evil 5. And if in 4 they gave you the conclusion to the Umbrella story. Um, and just been like, I mean, stock prices crashing? That's so boring. That's such a boring, <laughs> like, way to destroy Umbrella. All right, and that, ladies and germs, is Code Veronica X. Um, I appreciate you guys hanging out tonight. If you're watching later on YouTube, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed these episodes. I tried to edit them down to just get to the meat of them, so hopefully you liked them. And those who are here live, hopefully you liked my rambling and uh, dead silence at those moments as well. Um, but I really do appreciate it. And Unseen, thank you for hosting me tonight, bringing people in. Can't take them. PJ Jones, everyone who popped in, thank you guys very much for uh, for supporting the show tonight, coming in and watching us. And for those later on YouTube, thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed yourself. Like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and we'll come back with a new game in the in the near future. Hopefully in a week or two, I'll get back on Twitch and we'll play some more games. Most likely we'll play them on the X-Bone, uh, but we'll, uh, we'll, we'll fire up this PS4 at some point in the near future as well. Thanks so much. Have a good one. Peace. This open window can lead somewhere or nowhere. It's up to you. What do you mean, who is this? It's Chris. Why won't you believe me?